Hey guys, my name is Tom Antos and in um, this video I'm going to be showing you uh, this cool new accessory from Asun uh, and it's the Asun C Mall. Uh, previously uh, from this company I reviewed one of their wireless video systems and, and before that I reviewed a bunch of other products of theirs and you know all their products really impressed me. Now here's the device itself, it comes in a box like this uh, now, something I want to say right off the top is that this is designed to only work with uh, Apple devices, so iPhones, iPods. Uh, Asun does make another similar device that's designed for Android. So if I get that, I might do another video reviewing that unit. Now, because I'm more of an Android type of guy, uh, I don't really have any Apple devices other than this really old uh, iPhone 7. So that's what I'm going to use today uh, to test out uh, the Asun Simo uh, for this video. But basically what this device does is it's, um, I guess you could call it sort of a, a monitoring adapter. Essentially what it does is it takes an HDMI video source and it will output it into your uh, Apple device. Again, it could be, or preferably it would be an, like an iPad, something with a larger screen. But for this demo, I'll just show you with my crappy old iPhone. Um, so yeah, so it sends you the, the video signals. In this case, I'm using it with a Blackmagic camera. I got my video out through HDMI connection. And what I do like is they actually have like a full size HDMI connection up here. Uh, and then there's also a, a USB uh, basically connection there. So if you want to, let's say, output like five volts USB power to power some other device, you can do that. But on this side, you have another USB basically connection and then they give you cables. So they give you a USB-C to a lightning port cable and there's another cable that they give you which is a USB-C to USB-C for some of the newer Apple devices uh, and they also give you Allen key if you want to you know, adjust the tightness of this. But essentially what this does here is it takes your HDMI signal and it sends it to your uh, Apple device and then you also have a power button there so press and hold it and you can turn it on and off. Um, and yeah, and that's basically how this whole thing pretty much operates. It has, it comes with a culture mount, so you can rotate it, you can adjust the angle of this, all that stuff. Uh, so it's kind of, again, turns your Apple device into a, a nice monitor, because if you know, especially some of the later, uh, like the newest Apple devices, they have really nice displays, right? Uh, so once you're in there, in the app, you got to install, by the way, their app, uh, the Asun C app, not the Go app that they use for their wireless video system. They have another one. And once you have it in here, it's, uh, like I said, it's, there's nothing really else to do. You just turn on your camera or your video source, because it could be another video source. Turn on the, the adapter, and, you know, if you're plugged in uh, to your phone or to your Apple device, you'll have the, the video feed here, here sent. So just to kind of show you quickly uh, on this camera, is there a delay? I don't know, you guys can judge for yourself. If it is, it's barely noticeable. So you have your, your screen. It shows you up here, by the way, um, on the screen, your video signal. So like what, what it is coming in. So in this case, it's 1080p, uh, 24 frames per second. It shows you your encoder, um, shows you the, the iOS, what is that, the battery life. Uh, shows you the recording because the cool thing is you can actually record into your Apple device. So you have your recording button here and you can see it records here uh, into those settings. And you can change it obviously. So right now I click this. You can uh, change the bitrate. So you can see here you can adjust it, go up and down. Here just for comparison uh, you guys can see the two different versions of the video. The one is uh, me being recorded directly on my camera which is the Sony a7S III and the other version is actually recorded uh, on my iPhone using the Asun uh, Simo app. So you guys can kind of compare the quality there. Of course what's great about the ability to be able to record uh, directly to your Apple device but uh, through a good quality video device is that you can share these videos directly. Let's say if you're doing online content or you want to send somebody good quality video. Uh, another thing you can also do is you can capture stills within the app. But for that, so you guys can better compare it, if you guys want, want you can just head on over to my website at telmantosfilms.com and uh, I'll provide a download link. And then you also have here a menu for adding all of these, adding or deleting all of these features. Uh, that are on the tab. These are different monitoring features. So you have 
like your gray, you can do the RGB channels, you can view, you have a histogram, waveform, focus, lookup tables you can load in, you have a zebra, false color, audio monitor, uh, basically, you know, meters, you have different markers you can put in, you have distortion, so for example, if you're shooting anamorphic, this thing pretty much has, it covers every anamorphic squeeze aspect ratio, which is really nice. Uh, you have your grids, you can have uh, your display or like, for example, different overlays. Uh, if you want to have different aspect ratios, like let's say you're shooting full frame, but you want to, you know, really pre-framing for, I don't know, vertical video or something. Uh, and then, you know, these are basically the, I have all of them enabled so I can see them here on the tab and I can just kind of scroll through all these features. And then also you have your settings button here on the top right. And with that, you can, again, you can adjust the settings of all of these different features. So like, for example, your waveform, you can adjust what type of a waveform, whether it's Luma segmented over all that stuff, the size of it, the position, opacity, all, all those things, right? RGB channels, which channel you want to uh, be selecting and all, all those things. Uh, and then if you just tap it on the screen, all those things go away and you have, again, just a nice uh, display. Tap it again, all those settings come up. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll just kind of show you quickly. This is the gray option. You have your, in this case, it's the RGB. I'm just showing the red channel. Uh, my um, histogram is here. This is the waveforms, as you can see, they're really nice waveforms. Uh, this is focus peaking, LUTs, so again, you can, like I said, you can load in different LUTs. Zebra is enabled right now, false color, really nice false color, shows you the legend on the, on the left side, which I like. Uh, so yeah, I like all these features, right? ideometers, as you can see them. And all these things, like I said, there's, are going to essentially turn our, what's a really nice screen, again, with, with some of the, especially the latest Apple devices, into a really good uh, monitor. A monitor that has all this functionality and maybe even more in the future uh, since it really to update that uh, as soon all they have to do is update the software right they don't have to do any hardware uh, updating since we know that the iPhones or iPads will be able to handle all that stuff uh, so that, that's a really nice feature another really cool thing that this device does is that it has a live feature so uh, since this doesn't use uh, the wireless connection or Wi-Fi or anything like that, it actually directly through the, the cable sends the video signal to your device. That means that you can use, whether it's your Wi-Fi connection or your 4G LTE or 5G or whatever it is that you have a uh, wireless connection, you can use that to stream the video. So let's say if you want it to be, again, not just monitoring with this app, but uh, streaming to YouTube or Facebook Live or whatever it is, you can do all that. So you basically select here your service. You have different presets already for Facebook, YouTube, custom. So you can do all that stuff. You can put in your uh, the RTMP URL, the stream codes, all those things you can put in here and you can configure a few of these settings. You can save them and just click go live, which in this case I'm not gonna do, but, uh, but yeah, that allows you now to also not only uh, turn basically your video source into uh, so you can properly view it so basically turn your apple devices into a nice monitor but you can also turn it into a streaming device now uh, and again if if you're using it with a phone and you have a really good like a 5g connection that means you can essentially do live video streaming from anywhere as long as you have uh, your your cell phone connection so there's a really cool feature with that and all of this comes in this pretty small package as you guys can see uh, and there is actually another cold shoe mount up here on the top, so if you're worried about taking up the one that's on your camera, you can still mount the light or whatever it is up here that you want to mount. Uh, and yeah, pretty simple, straightforward device. Uh, it's not that expensive for the latest prices, by the way, just check out the links in the description. But yeah, it's simple to use, simple to operate, affordable. And, uh, and I think adds a lot of functionality, especially, like I said, if you have some Apple devices. But anyways, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to find out, like I said, more info about this prices and where you can get it, as always, uh, check out the links in the description of this video or head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com. And, and that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.